everyone how are you all i hope you're all doing good so we are back on your favorite learning platform learn forward and we are going to study from feather cap people and places this is chapter number 17 our constitutions goals rights and duties so as we all know the set of rules and regulations is set up by the government for the people of india under the constitution it has some goals it has some rights and duties which have to be followed by the citizens of india so in this chapter we are going to study about the goals the fundamental rights and the fundamental duties of the citizens of india so i hope you are all ready with your books let's get started now after a long struggle india gained independence on 15th august 1947 so as we know india got independent on 15th august 1947 subsequently a new constitution was drafted for newly independent nation outlining national goals the rights and the duties of citizens and the structure and functioning of the government as we know india is a diverse country so to run this country we need a lot of people to work together and they framed a constitution a constitution was drafted constitution is basically set of rules and regulations kuch rules or regulations jo har citizen country ka follow karega वो सब किसके अंदर मेंशनड है अंडर द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सो इनको किसने लीड किया था किसने हमारा कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ड्राफ्ट किया दे वर द न्यूली इंडिपेंडेंट फाइटर्स ऑफ द फ्रीडम फाइटर्स ऑफ अवर कंट्री सो उसके अंदर क्या क्या मेंशन है हमारे गोल्स द राइट्स एंड द ड्यूटीज ऑफ द सिटीजन विच हैव टू बी फॉलोड एंड द स्ट्रक्चर एंड फंक्शनिंग ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट कि गवर्नमेंट का स्ट्रक्चर कैसे रहेगा किस तरीके से गवर्नमेंट फॉर्म होगी क्या गवर्नमेंट के फंक्शन रहेंगे The new constitution was officially adopted on 26 January 1950 making the day India became republic. So our country got republic on 26 January 1950 on this day the new constitution was drafted. Now what are our, our goals? Sovereignty, democracy, socialism and secularism are the national goals of the Indian Republic and its people. So these are four goals of the country of the of the Indian Republic people. that is your sovereignty democracy socialism and secularism now what is sovereignty it means that we the indians are our own masters as other country do not govern us matlab hamare jo hai hum apni country ko khud rule kar sakte hain we don't need any other foreign power who will govern us second is your democracy democracy means that people will govern themselves people will choose their representative they have the power to choose their representative so this is democracy now the people's represent will form a government jo log ko logo ko represent karega wo government ko form karega socialism socialism means equal rights and equal opportunities for all to move forward so socialism matlab ki har insaan ke paas equal rights aur opportunities hain to move forward and last is your secularism secularism means that the government will treat people of all regions alike matlab jitne bhi log hain maybe of another region they will be treated alike so no discrimination will be done on the basis of religion so this is ensured by the secularism everyone is free to follow any religion in a republic a single individual does not rule so everyone has the power to follow any religion they have their right and a single individual does not rule so a single person does not have the power to rule the government here people will form the government so here a lot of people will come together to form the government now our fundamental rights our constitution secures liberty equality justice for all jo hamara constitution hai wo ye chahta hai ye secure karta hai ki har insaan ko equality justice aur <coughs> liberty mile sorry several rights are given to every citizen of india even children so every person in india every citizen of india has their own rights fundamental rights they are called fundamental rights the right of vote is for adults that is 18 or more years of age only so the right of vote is for the people who are of 18 years or or above now what are our fundamental rights first is right to equality all people are equal before the law whatever their caste religion sex or place of birth are so everyone is equal before the law no one can be discriminated on the basis of their religion caste sex birthplace anything second right to freedom all people can express their views views they can assemble or form associations they are free to live and travel anywhere in india they can follow any pro any profession so jitne bhi log hain wo apne views express kar sakte hain 
उनको उनका ये राइट right है उनको कोई रोक नहीं सकता दे कैन फॉर्म एसोसिएशन दे कैन फॉर्म ग्रुप्स दे कैन परफॉर्म रैलीज दे आर फ्री टू लिव दे कैन गो इन एनी वेयर इन एनी पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया एंड दे हैव द राइट टू डू सो एंड लिव देर दे कैन ऑल्सो फॉलो एनी प्रोफेशन विच दे वॉन्ट थर्ड इज योर राइट अगेंस्ट एक्सप्लॉयटेशन नो वन कैन बी फोर्स टू वर्क फॉर अदर्स किसी को आप जबरदस्ती किसी के लिए काम नहीं करवा सकते चिल्ड्रन बिलो द एज ऑफ फोर्टीन कैन नॉट बी एम्प्लॉयड एज लेबर सो द चिल्ड्रन हु आर बिलो द एज ऑफ फोर्टीन कैन नॉट बी एम्प्लॉयड एज उन्हें लेबर की तरह नहीं रखा जा सकता बिकॉज अवर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सेज दैट द चिल्ड्रन हु आर बिलो द एज ऑफ फोर्टीन शुड कंपल्सरीली स्टडी शुड कम्प्लीट देयर स्टडीज now fourth is your right to freedom of religion everyone is fall be free to follow and preach the religion of his choice he can freely observe his customs and festivals so sabko jo hai freedom hai apne religion ko follow karne ki sab apne religion ko apni pasand se if someone wanted to convert their religion they can easily do so they have this right and they can easily they can freely observe their customs and the festivals now fifth is your cultural and educational rights all the indians have their rights to conserve their distinct language script matlab jitne bhi indians hai jaise purani as we know india has a lot of different languages so sabko unki apni script ko conserve karne ka use preserve karne ka so that the generations that will come should also learn that things so all indians have the right to reserve their scripts or language a student will not be refused admission to any institution on the grounds of religion caste or language so ek student ko aap mana nahi kar sakte on the basis of their caste religion or anything to take admission in any educational institution now right to constitutional remedies every citizen can seek protection from the court if his fundamental right is inferred interfered by anyone अगर हमारा कोई भी जो राइट right, uh, हमारे फंडामेंटल राइट्स हैं उसको कोई भी अगर ब्रेक करने की कोशिश कर रहा है या हम उसे फॉलो नहीं कर पा रहे हैं सो वी हैव राइट टू कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल रेमेडी वी कैन कंप्लेन अगेंस्ट दैट पर्सन वी कैन सीक प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम द कोर्ट इफ अवर राइट्स आर वायलेटेड नाउ दिस वर अवर दिस वॉज अबाउट फंडामेंटल ड्यू राइट्स एंड नाउ वी विल स्टडी द फंडामेंटल ड्यूटी लेट्स जस्ट टेक अ लुक एट दिस बॉक्स अ कंट्री दैट इज गवर्न बाय प्रेजिडेंट एंड रिप्रेजेंटेटिव इलेक्टेड बाय द पीपल इज कॉल्ड द रिपब्लिक रिपब्लिक कौन सी कंट्री होती है जिसका हेड जो होता है दैट इज योर प्रेजिडेंट एंड द रिप्रेजेंटेटिव आर इलेक्टेड बाय द पीपल ओनली सो दैट कंट्री इज नोन एज रिपब्लिक देर इज नो किंग और क्वीन इन रिपब्लिक अ कंट्री विच इज रूल बाय किंग इज कॉल्ड अ मोनाफी और जहाँ पर कोई भी किंग या क्वीन रूल करेंगे उसको मोनार्की बोला जाता है दैट इज नॉट अ डेमोक्रेसी और रिपब्लिक कंट्री नाउ आवर फंडामेंटल ड्यूटीज इन ऑर्डर टू एंजॉय अवर राइट्स वी मस्ट इंश्योर दैट वी आर नॉट इंटरफेयरिंग विद द राइट्स ऑफ अदर्स अपने राइट्स को एंजॉय करने के लिए यू शुड ऑलवेज मेक श्योर दैट यू आर नॉट वायलेटिंग द राइट्स ऑफ द अदर पर्सन द राइट्स ऑफ वन पर्सन आर द ड्यूटीज ऑफ अनदर सो द राइट्स ऑफ द वन पर्सन आर द ड्यूटीज ऑफ द अनदर पर्सन दैट इट शुड बी फॉलोड we are free to speak but we should not speak anything hurting others we are free we have the freedom we have the liberty to speak but we should not speak like anything which can hurt others it is our duty to let others speak so it's just not that we have that right or everyone in the country have the right so they you should also give the another people to speak now the constitution lists 11 fundamental duties so there are 11 fundamental duties which are followed by the every citizen of india what is first we must follow the ideals set up by the constitution jo bhi ideals hamare constitution ne set kare hain unhe follow karna is your first duty second we must respect the national flag and national anthem so we must always respect the national flag and the national anthem of our country third we must be prepared to defend the unity and integrity of the country so apni country ko bachane ke liye defend karne ke liye aur uski integrity ko bachane ke liye uni, unity ko bachane ke liye defend karne ke liye we should always stand now fourth we must cooperate with the government in the times of danger when our country is in the situation of war famine or anything we should support our government fifth we must treat other individuals as as equals so everyone is equal before the law so we should also treat all individual as equals sixth we must protect our natural environment we should always protect the nature the natural environment the natural resources which are provided to us seventh we must protect public property and monuments so we should also take care of the public properties which are provided to us by the government and the monuments 
नाउ वी मस्ट मेंटेन पीस एंड हार्मनी हमेशा पीस और हार्मनी को प्रमोट करो कभी भी लड़ाई झगड़ा वी शुड ऑलवेज अवॉइड द वायलेंस नाउ वी मस्ट डेवलप अ साइंटिफिक टेंपर वी शुड ऑलवेज कीप अप विद द टेक्नोलॉजीज एवरीथिंग वी शुड डेवलप अ साइंटिफिक टेंपर इन अस वी मस्ट स्ट्राइव टुवर्ड्स एक्सीलेंस इन ऑल स्फीयर एंड जो भी आप काम कर रहे हो हमेशा उसमें ट्राई टू गेट द एक्सीलेंस टू डू योर बेस्ट we must provide opportunities for education to child as the case may be between the age of 16 to 14 years so the children who are aged between 6 to 14 should be provide the right facilities or the opportunities to get the education now did you know the 11th fundamental duty was incorporated into the indian constitution through the 86th amendment act in 2002 so jo 11th hamara ye wala aapka wo hai duty hai it was not included pehle It was included in 2002 by 86th Amendment Act. ठीक है 86th Amendment Act की वजह से ये जो हमारा basically ये 11th वाला जो आपका fundamental duty है इसको 2002 में add किया गया. Now I think chapter is completed. Yes. So let's do the classroom activity. Tick the correct words. In a republic, people individual form forms the government. So in a republic, people forms the government. Now everyone or no one is free to allow to follow any religion. So in India, everyone is allowed to follow any religion. Third, any citizen aged eighteen, eighteen or twenty-five or above can vote in elections. So the person who is aged aged eighteen can vote in elections. It is our fundamental duty or right to follow any profession. So it is our right. It is not our duty. It is our right. Fifth, the government will treat people of all religions alike. So the government of the country will treat the people alike. Same. Now take the correct answer. First, our constitution was adopted on twenty sixth, twenty sixth January nineteen fifteen, fifteen August nineteen forty seven, twenty fourth January nineteen fifty. So on twenty sixth January nineteen fifty, our constitution was adopted. Second, we have dash fundamental rights. So we have learned that we have six fundamental rights. Every citizen above the age of dash has a right to vote. So every citizen above the age of eighteen has a right to vote. Now all the people are dash before the law. All the people are equal before the law. Democracy means people will govern govern dash. So democracy means people will govern themselves. third our constitution secures dash dash and dash for all our constitution secures liberty equality and justice for all now children below the age of 14 cannot be employed as dash the children before the below the age of 14 cannot be employed as laborers l a b o u r e r s fifth the right of one person is a dash of another the right of one person is the duty of another Now, as the words given under the A with those under B, first equal opportunities. So equal opportunities mean socialism. All religions are equal, so it is covered under secularism. Fundamental rights we have six fundamental rights and set of rules and regulations is laid under the constitution. Now next, answer in one word. Who form or forms the government in a republic? So people's representative forms the government in republic. Okay, people's representative. Now, what is the minimum age to vote at elections? So minimum age is eighteen years. Third, what did India become on twenty six January nineteen fifty? India became a republic. How many years old should a person be in order to be a candidate for the elections? So a person should be twenty-five years or above. What does a set of rules and regulations call? So set of rules and regulations is known as constitutions. Answer the following question. Number one, what is democracy? So the answer is on first page. What is democracy? Democracy means people will govern govern themselves. People will elect their representative. The people's representative will form a government. So this is your answer number one. That what is democracy? Now question number two. 
what can you do if your fundamental rights is interfered by another person so if your rights are interfered by another person you have the right to seek protection from the court if your fundamental rights is inferred by interfered by anyone so we can do this under the right to constitutional remedy so this is answer number 2 if your rights are violated you can report under report rights to right to constitutional remedies where you can seek protection if your rights any fundamental right is being violated now what is right to freedom so first page right to freedom all people can express their views they can assemble or form associations they are free to live and travel anywhere in india they can follow any profession so this is your right to freedom this is your answer number 3 now question number 4 what is the relation between rights and duties so you will get your answer here in order to enjoy our right we must ensure that we are not interfering with the right of others the right of person are the duties of another so this is the relation between your rights and your du duties so this is answer number 4 now question number 5 right to duties of a citizen so these are some duties our fundamental duties which are mentioned here 11 duties you can write any two of them so you can write your answer number 5 from these 11 points so this was your all question answers we have completed the chapter if you have any problem you can watch it again thank you so much happy learning